In this video I'll be showing you how to draw curly white fur using colour pencils. Okay, so in this tutorial video, um, the full video is just under three hours in length and is available over on my Patreon, but um, this was the choice of my patrons, this subject, uh, Labradoodle. Um, basically, we're going to be unraveling the myths of white fur and they chose the most difficult image, which is curly white fur. Um, so I made it a little bit more difficult by putting it also onto white paper. So this is showing you how to depict white fur on white paper and that fur is curly. Um, so every challenge in there. I'll show you everything um, in detail and talk you through how I select my or my colour choices if I'm selecting my support for doing commission work, how I transfer um, my reference photo and enhance my reference photo ahead of starting the drawing, how I transfer that over to my support. Um, I show you how to engrave to preserve um, those white areas um, using two or three different engraving tools. I also then show you how to use different pressure and lay down your um, colour pencil, how to choose your colours, how to see your colours, and then, of course, on to how we start to build the, um, the curls of the fur. And this is pretty much like working in negative. It's all about using your colours, um, your hues, your tones, your values, um, drawing the shapes around the curls, um, and building gradually. Um, it is very labour intensive, it's just a different way of seeing and drawing. Um, normally I probably work on a coloured or toned background, but as this is on white it's a slightly different approach. So I show you how to use your, um, your colours, your cool shades, your warm shades, and then further into the video also I'll show you how to lift pigment back out as well. So as I say, if you um, are part of my Patreon, you will have access. The full video is 2 hours and 50 minutes, and I, most of it is in real time with voiceover. There's only other parts of it sped up where I'm repeating myself with the process. So I show you how to do something two or three times, and then we speed up for the parts in between where I'm just repeating what I've just shown you. So for this one, I use mostly Caran d'Ache Pablos. Um, there's a lovely colour range within the Pablos, but you can use any pencils. And I worked on Claire Fontaine Pastel Matte, the white shade. But again, you can use any paper as well for this technique. In fact, if you use the smoother paper, you would most likely achieve the effect quicker and much easier. With the pastel mat, it had to be worked um, and layered a lot more to smooth out some of the tooth. With this one, I have embraced that tooth a little bit more though. Um, so anyway, I'll show you lots of different techniques within this one. So please, if you want to see the full video, do join me over on Patreon. Thank you.